Gaffer, putting together a nice little run at the moment. A few wins on the spin. How, how, how are you feeling about everything? Good. It's funny how a week can change things, isn't it? Everyone was... Some people were doom and gloom. After Sheffield Wednesday, we've managed to put back-to-back -back wins together, which is brilliant. I think the more often you can do that in a season, the better chance you've got of staying where you want to stay. So, no, it's been a good, good last couple of performances. Scored six goals. Um, defended okay. Probably could have done a little bit better on occasions, maybe on on Tuesday night defensively. But in the whole, yeah, can't be too displeased. Um, and looking forward to Saturday. Mm. Uh, on those two games, I mean, is it pleasing? I know you've mentioned a couple of bits we could could have done better, but they were they were tight-ish going into injury time, weren't they? Yeah. And to be able to then kill the game off in both, almost exactly the same in both games. What, you know, how pleasing is that? So relieving. Yes, relieving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I think um, of all the games that we played in, I think all the games in League One, barring a few mad results, like they're always close games, mm. they always go to the wire. Um, teams who we've been playing have been good teams, so we never... We didn't expect an easy game against Portsmouth and against Oxford, and we didn't get an easy game. So we, um, yeah, we we got our, our noses in front uh, both occasions, and we've had to dig in, show some good uh, good character in the closing stages, and then when you've got Ryan on the pitch late on in games, and the game opens up and teams are committing, throwing everything forward. He's such a um, obviously a powerful weapon to have. So thankfully um, he sealed them and. We could all celebrate and breathe. Yeah, it says something about his, but also the side's fitness, I suppose, doesn't it? And mental strength to, at that stage of the game where you've been battling to have the composure to finish it off or at least still keep keep going. It It's not a rarity, that's what I'm saying, going right to the end like that. No, it's not. And I think um, it's one of the, the most pleasing aspects of how this season's gone. We've dealt with them pressure moments well, in my opinion, probably slightly better than what we did last season. And that comes from experience, it comes from staying a bit calmer, under pressure, maybe on the sideline, ourselves, the coaching staff, making clearer decisions if we can. Um, and then having the energy is because we've been able to use five subs, we've been able to rotate people on and off, we've been able to pick teams that players are generally fresh when they're coming into the team and playing, and the, the players who have come into the team, have there's been no drop-off in performance, the, the standard has been top class so we're going to need that to continue because we know we've got 15 real tough games in the league to go and we're going to need every player that's available. Speaking of exactly that, Saxon only made a bit of an impact didn't he? I think he played like four minutes of football for yeah. us before before starting that. I mean, brilliant. Yeah, he's brilliant yeah and again he's, he's been another one that's um, settled in the first week when he came down here. I think he'll say himself he looked a bit nervous and the training, I had to get up to speed of it, be trained different to probably how Norwich under-23s have trained, probably how different to how Stevenage have trained, so we're, we're a bit different to that. It took him a bit of time to settle in, but after the first week when he got over his nerves, um, he's been brilliant. I know no one's seen him, because he hasn't managed to get back on the pitch, uh, obviously, since Bolton. But we had no doubt that he could perform. We felt that that game against Oxford was perfect for him, because... Oxford like to attack, that's what their huge strength and and Saxon loves to defend. I thought he defended really well and tackled someone again to score a goal. So brilliant, made up for him. Yeah, it's a true defender's goal that, isn't it? Yeah. Tackling the ball into the net. How on earth do you pick a side now from, from week to week? Because no one is showing any signs of dropping off. No, and that's how it needs to be. The, the, the whole squad, however many we've got, they all need to be in form, and I think the players understand that, that they're not going to start every single game. They, they know that even if you're playing really well and you've been outstanding, I have to leave you out the squad, it'll be for a reason. Um, <laughs> Let's pop the in. The Thank you. It works, clearly. It still works. It does. It's good to know. Uh, yeah, so the players know that they're not going to play every single minute of every single game. I'll have to make changes, we'll have to pick a team that we think is right for the opposition that we're playing and also gives us a chance to keep everyone fresh, like I've just explained. Mm. So, um, yeah, it's hard to pick, it's hard to try and get your decisions right. I won't get every decision right, we know that, but the more often that we do get it right, the better. Um, 
on picking an opposition, oh, sorry, aside for Fleetwood, what do you see as their strengths? How do you see them at the moment? They're in real good form. They've had um, a good January transfer window. They've got two strikers that they brought in who are so experienced and scored so many goals at this level. So that's obviously what Scott highlighted that they needed to do. And, and the chairman, Andy, has gone and backed them and done it. So, yeah, real two quality signings, and there's a couple of others as well, I know, but they're, um, I say they're in good form. We watched them twice before we played Sheffield Wednesday, and I thought they did well in both games. Played them in the league, played them in the cup, and then they won, obviously, the replay. Um, and he had a great result again the other day against Peterborough, so, but yeah, tough game. We've already lost to them once this season. We'll hopefully try and put that one right. I suppose they're a, a prime example of what this league is all about, isn't it? You know, they, they go on these runs, can mix it with everybody, mm -hmm. might go on a few that don't go their way. It, it, it is just yeah. the nature of this league, isn't it? Yeah, you've got to be at it. Every single game, doesn't matter what the team name is. You know, you don't have to do anything better because you're playing Sheffield Wednesday than what you have to do because you, you're playing Fleetwood Town. You have to take every game as it comes. Every game is a battle in League One. It shows how close they are. We've won the last two in the last in injury time that we've just spoken about and yeah, we're gonna we know that we're gonna have to be at our very best on, on Saturday to win it. If we can back it up and get three wins in a week, that'll be incredible. But we know that Fleetwood are gonna be here trying to stop us and, and we need to make sure that we we play well.